Question. I'm David Hogberg, a healthcare policy analyst for the National Center for Public Policy Research, representing shareholder David L. Massey. Thank you for the opportunity to ask you about a public policy matter of concern to, I believe, all of us. One question uh, is about public access here in the United States to investigational drugs that have not been approved by the FDA, commonly referred to as compassionate use policies. We're coming from a public policy perspective. That is, we're interested in knowing if company management believes there are things that can be done by government or the healthcare industry, or changes to laws and regulations, or even funding to streamline access to unapproved drugs for patients who are literally down to their last hope. We know this is an extremely difficult area for policymaking. Obviously, there are trade-offs, for example, between compassionate use and um, clinical trials. Uh, more compassionate use can make clinical trials more difficult. But are improvements possible? Are there ways to make it easier for patients to apply for compassionate use or for drug companies of all sizes to be able to say yes to compassionate use requests when medically appropriate? What can we do to make this system work better for all involved? Thank you. Thank you, David. Maybe I'll make a couple comments and then Paul ask you to, to join in, Dr. Paul Stoffels. Uh, as I'm sure you probably got a sense from today, uh, we're very proud of many of the investments that we've made in research and development over the past several years that we think have had or ended up having a remarkable impact as they've gone through extensive clinical trial and development programs so we can ultimately bring them to market. And uh, we try to work closely with regulators to do the appropriate balancing of, you know, getting the appropriate characterization, the uh, efficacy and safety profile of the compounds, and also try to get those to the market in a responsible and as rapidly as possible to meet the needs of patients. So, Paul, I don't know if you want to add to that? Yes, thank you for the question, and also thank you for your work in the field. Um, we have a lot of uh, new drugs which are life-saving and which are very important for cancer patients and in pe people living with serious infectious diseases and other diseases. And we are working very diligent with the regulators as well as with the, um, with the healthcare community to provide access as soon as possible. Of course, we always have to take in consideration the safety and the efficacy before we expand it into the larger population. We have had for 10,000s of patients therapies out for HIV. For many, many patients in oncology, all the time we provide significant access to patients who need the drug to survive as soon as possible. It's our life to provide medicines to patients, and we as physicians in the company, we do ultimate best to make sure we can as rapidly as possible make life-saving drugs available. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go to number four.